Hey everybody, it's Nick with the Base Channel and welcome back. We are still here at the Taman facility in Germany and uh, it is very good to be here. You guys know me, why don't you two kind gentlemen introduce yourselves. Uh, I'm Russell, a uh, bass player. I've uh, been working for Taman for a few years. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say about myself really. Yeah. I, I like bass. <laughs> good, you're in the right place then. You're in the right place. You guys know me, I hope. I'm Will. I've been doing this for a couple years now. <laughs> So this was an idea that we had uh, a little while ago, knowing that we were going to come here, and we wanted to do just a straight showcase of some really high-end instruments. We're not talking about like a head-to-head, -head, which is better. At this point, we're just showing off some really, really fine instruments, and I mean, you guys be the judge. You know, whatever feels uh, and, and looks the best, you guys tell us what's up. Basically, this is an opportunity I've never had. <laughs> I've never had the opportunity to be around such fine instruments, and I kind of want to do it because I'm sort of greedy that way. So if we're going to do it, let's go for the big numbers. So uh, I tell you what, let's start off with this one. Well, why don't you tell me what I got going on here? Okay, well, yeah, let's start off with a bit of a familiar face before we start diving into all this nuts stuff we got. I got a Fender. I'm not sure what year. It's a custom shop relic P bass, but the fun part is that it's got a jazz bass neck on it, so a la Bobby Vega. So I had to do it. That's, that was the first call. You guys picked all the fun Faderas and things too, so I was like, I got to pick my favorite Fender in here. Yeah. So I got this guy. I'm going to bet that's probably a nitrocellulose finger uh, or a finish. That's probably not a poly. That's probably a nitro finish. Oh, yeah, absolutely. There is a little spec card there on the headstock, though. Would you mind actually like oh. reading a little bit and seeing what's on there? Fender Postmodern Journeyman Relic Precision Bass. It's a 2019 electric. That's all we got. So it's, yeah, what is it called? Journeyman Relic. I like it a lot. Cool finish. But how does it sound? But how does it mm. sound? That is the question. <laughs> and we'll find out now. That's like a classic sound. Yeah, that really is. And I mean, somehow they do, like with the relicking, it's almost like they get that relicking tone in there surprisingly well, too. Mm. You know what I mean? Because they do that whole aging of the pickups with the, all that crazy stuff. I don't know the technicality behind it. Right. I know the pickups are a little bit burnished. I'm sure yeah, there's got to exactly. be something. Maybe, maybe they're underwiring the, the, the pickups know, or something like that. If you guys want to take a look when you see it, but like some of the pole pieces are like way out. And I'm not sure if that might be on purpose or what. But oh, that's definitely going to be on purpose. Those magnets are going to be closer to the string, so it's going to get a little more mid range so, like, clunch. Punch, okay. Yeah, I just want to, I want to, like, feel how it, uh, how it responds. It's hard. That it's was like, nice. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> it like feels like so good. Like, yeah, it's it's unbelievable. That jazz neck really makes a difference. Not the, that I don't like P necks, but I started on a jazz bass, so for me that's like home base. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, definitely a lot faster. Yeah, it's a little bit of a there's some uh, it's wearing down on oh, the yeah. neck too, so yeah. you're not gonna get too sticky. It's like super comfy right here. Yeah, it right, definitely feels like a nitro finish on the body too, like you were saying. Yeah. Well, I want to hear this thing. So I usually don't. You guys have been playing it wide open thus far for what it's worth. Mm -hmm. Everything's been played wide open. I like to close the tone a little bit. I like to play it out of phase. And again, just because I'm a greedy boy, it's a rare opportunity. I'm going to set it up. Do it! <laughs> are so tasty. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> so funky. I love that. that, that so that's funky. that's Rocco. That's Rocco yeah. for days. Man. Absolutely. I wish. I mean, come on. I mean, I actually, I grew up in the Bay Area, so and I was lucky enough. My my folks let me uh, got me tickets to go see Tower of Power. Yeah, I got to see and, them also. Yeah, Wonder dude. And when you see Rocco, like he's just the whole time he's just. Yeah, yeah, that mean mug just going. You know, for he it. literally looks like he's gonna take your money from you when it's you amazing. leave. It's amazing. Thanks for coming to the show. Wallets. <laughs> Smokes Incredible. now, you know. Smokes. Rock is my favorite. Anyway, this is beautiful. Yeah. Glad we finally got to uh, got to play uh, a Fender of this magnitude. But well, I tell you what, sure. let's move on to a, something a little uh, little tasty. Take a peek, shall we? By tasty, you mean more expensive? Is this a, <laughs> is this a silent cable, or do we need to? It is not a silent cable, but I got it. I, I, I mean, okay, which one? Okay, cool. So the next one is going to be this guy. 
as far as the dollars would go. The doll hairs. Diva. Yeah, this is cool. So who makes this? <laughs> Marlow? The Marlow Diva. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Here. Well, I'll start Oh, with uh, do we have a tuner or anything? Have you, you, you had it last, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Christoph, Christopher, help. Are you the main 444? He's gonna come running. He doesn't hear us. No, he doesn't hear us. We're trapped. We're He's left me. <laughs> There's gotta be a tuner in here somewhere. Oh, find me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fretless. Yeah, it's a fretless. <laughs> I could just blame it on my bad playing. I'm just kidding. I didn't realize it's Okay, right. well, I would go ahead and mute that for now. Yeah, yeah. And then let's just do a little introduction. Right here. That's gotta be it. <laughs> that's, that's, so, that's so amazing. So fancy. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> All right, so I don't know anything about this, so okay. let whoever picked it talk about it. Yeah, I, I, I picked it. So, <laughs> Do you want to start with it, then? No, no I'm okay, yeah, right, go play. So go I know it. nothing about this instrument. I had seen it. It's been like all around the internet a bunch of times, it's and fun. when we walked into the high-end bass room, I was like, that's the thing! That's the one! So I had to get it, um, and uh, when we were going to do this like high-end instrument, shoo it out, it, it just it, I needed it to happen. So um, Same deal, Will. You have a little tag on there. I know this is Marlow. Yeah. This is the Marlow, if that's how you pronounce it, the Marlow Diva. Uh, yeah. Four string fretless. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? I will tell you what the thing says. It <laughs> says Marlo Diva 4 in royal purple, uh, electric bass, and then it, fretless. It says something else, but I don't know what it means. Can I say it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm the German uh, American Indian yeah. on four, here. Four Seder or something like that? Uh, oh, right before fretless. Oh, Jesus. Uh, so we have uh, A horn is uh, maple. No, 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 right here, this one. Maple body. Four, no. uh, four string. Oh, that it's just like, means four okay, strings? So oh, okay. <laughs> one yeah. day I'll get it. Figured that one out already. Yeah. <laughs> After maybe my fifth trip yeah, here. Birkin? I'll do it. I don't know what, what tree a Birkin, Birkin deck is. So this definitely looks like some type of rosewood, or at least a, a sister to rosewood uh, for the fingerboard. I don't rosewood. But no? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think we sell anything with rosewood anymore. Oh, that's true. That um, is very true. I think it's yeah. Birkin deck. Yeah. I don't know what Birkin deck is. Yeah. Deutsch, Deutsch gehängt means that it's, it's through... Oh, neck through? Yeah, neck through. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, definitely neck through design. The strings are kind of sat in these little saddle pieces here. We need a German. Birkendecker. Do you know what that means? <laughs> right German, here is German where we pop in. Birkendecker. <laughs> Translate right there. Exquisite. <laughs> All right, give All right. it a go. Let's see what's going on here. It's like a spaceship base. It is. <laughs> We could tell. Yeah. This thing is incredible, dude. Like, this plays so beautifully. And like, it's got that growl. I'm sure you guys heard just like that. It's a beautiful amount of bite because of these round wounds on it. And the action is like crazy low, but not too low, you know? It's just mm. like, I don't know how to describe this thing. It is a space space, you're right. This thing is really cool. It's weird. You yeah, it's like. Play around? My low. We're going to do the wine, we're low. Mm -hmm. And it's purple. And it's. Oh. Trillers. It's all Wine's fitting. Stained. I turn it, like, this is the volume, and this must yeah, be... Yeah, so that's exactly. the volume, and that's going to be tone. There's these cool little knobs that are almost like something off of a stereo, where you have to, like, touch it. There's just small little indentations where you put your fingertip. It's mm. like a normal knob. Yeah. Pretty cool. And then there's a switch. I'm not totally sure. Active passive? Active passive, maybe. Maybe, maybe there are piezo pickups in these saddles. Oh, you know what? I could see that. That maybe. might activate a piezo. Let me, let me try it. Let's see. So volume on. <laughs> That sounds like active passive. Yeah, active passive, but it's a three-way switch, which is kind of confusing. <laughs> that is confusing. Yeah. Maybe it's active passive piezo. Because mm. mm. the middle position sounds weirdly, like, acoustic. Yeah, let me try it. you know it. what I mean? Okay, so this is one. That's a curious phenomenon. Hmm. Hmm. All right. I gotta try this. I gotta put it on the middle. I think that sounds the sexiest. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm, this is a thumb rest? That, that, that indentation would probably be where you put your thumb, yeah, but... Yeah, I'll give it a go. I mean, yeah, just move it where... I didn't even think about where I put my thumb. <laughs> I played it. Oh my I God. guess it's like for more rocky stuff. Ooh. Yeah, that's way far back. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could play over the pickup? Yeah, I 
It's <laughs> <laughs> wonderful. Uh, wonderful wow. playing, I might add as well. Hey, thanks, man. Thank you're you. Not, you're not too bad yourself. You know what? I appreciate <laughs> that. Yeah, man. I don't know. I usually, I usually don't like not being able to see the lines, but they got the lines. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's like yeah, these little little markers along the side of the yeah, which there. is honestly the best of both worlds, kind yeah. of. So you mm-hmm. look like a champ from the front, but you know that you're not <laughs> when you're, you're actually. Like a champ. <laughs> and like this one's pretty light. That's another yeah, thing that's another thing that yeah. I have a pet peeve about. This horn is also like you really like grab it, like mm-hmm. it's like made to grab. Mm-hmm. So I don't it's, wanna... it's got like guitar sized tuners too, like tuning knobs, I should say. You should really like polish it. I feel like you have like fingerprints all over these, uh, these knobs. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that thing is really nice. So it feels good. I want one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So just like you're moving around, let's try something else. So you'll see. Hellborg taught me, and obviously I wasn't paying attention, so serious <laughs> apologies. <to> the... <laughs> that was great. This is cool. This has been a privilege. Glad to see I finally got to uh, yeah. play what the bass that I've seen a thousand times. Uh, I mean, I definitely, it's definitely worth more than the, the car I'm currently driving, so um, it's cool. It's definitely really cool. If I had the, the change to drop on a fretless of this magnitude, I most certainly would. Mm-hmm. I mean, I definitely would. Mm-hmm. You know, shallow tuners, you, you pointed out that the tuning machines. Real quality shallow tuners. Um, feels great and really, really nice and accurate. I like the way this is cut out too. So it's kind of nice. It does feel good. Yeah, so. easy access. Yeah, but sweet. Shall we move, move on? Let's, move yeah. on. Let's get this yeah. button going. All right. Next up, what do we got? Um, I mean, this one's kind of priceless. So maybe that one goes last. We'll say that one last. <laughs> I think that no, that oh, one. Oh yeah, that one. That's what. Right. That'll be last. So they got two Foderas next? So presumably, here, what did you give that to me? Because I had to stand right here. Yeah, presumably the either the Fodera or the Warwick. Ah, hey, where's the Warwick? Right here. This okay. one. How much Probably going to be the Warwick. This is 5129. And that one's up next. Yeah, because that's, that's twice the price. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there's this one back here also. Oh, the Elric. Oh, man. Not to be forgotten. Um, yeah, this one will be next. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. We in tune? Yep. Wait. Okay. I'm also unmute and tune. Same, <laughs> same. So this Chris picked. So I'm not sure total total specs on it, but let me read the back for you. After I turn this down. This is a Warwick Master Built Thumb Neck Through Four, uh, four string Babinga. I'm assuming it's all Babinga, because it looks like it. Except maybe there's no. Never mind. Big wrong. Don't listen to me. Maybe a way. <laughs> it's beautiful. It is wonderful though. It feels great. Those like gold frets too. That's that gives it a nice, classy look. Let me see where I'm at with all these. I'm just gonna keep them in the middle for now. What's up with this pickup? Like it's kind of sideways in the back. Yeah. So I don't know the purpose. I think it's like a, a low end. It keeps it all a consistent. It would keep the low end really punchy. Yeah, and it maybe keeps, like, warm consistent... up the treble mm-hmm. a little bit just because of that angle. Versus you know? like the streamers that are just too straight, like jazz style pickups. Yeah. Huh. So I love this one though because like I already play so far back. So it's like, oh man. And then in the five string version, fun fact, is like they're both right here and sideways, like right next to each other. And it sounds so cool. Anyway, let's let's talk about this thing first. Or hear it. <laughs> thing the knobs are a little scary there's so many of them i don't really know it still so, sounds like a jazz bass oh yeah it still has that yeah. nice single coily exactly real punchy real but you can tell sounds. that this pickup placement really like mm-hmm. you can feel that changes it there. 
So I think it's volume pickup and then probably bass mid treble or something along the lines of that. Mm -hmm. But feels great. The neck's awesome. It's got that unfinished thing, which I love. You know, like can you flip it? Can I see the thing. back? Yeah, absolutely. Got a neck through here. Gorgeous. How many pieces is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six piece. That's nice. And they have. I love how they do the wood. I like when the wood. I was gonna yeah. say that exactly. They had that thing. on the on that one as well. Had that actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it was also on the. Oh, uh, oh yeah, yeah, and you can charge the battery without taking it out, which is thing? awesome. Oh, it's a USB. They have that on a lot oh, of the newer stuff. Out. Yeah, this I've thing never is. Seen that. This thing is killer. Here, that's Take a crazy. Piece. Oh god. Yeah, it's 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 always Warwick's are always heavier than the other ones. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's a compromise. Okay, when you said it's it's six pieces, what do you mean? I believe so. Like one, two, three, four. Oh, five piece. Five piece neck, see what I'm saying? Ah, uh, okay. These are five individual pieces. Yeah, okay. strips, yeah. That makes sense. And then the two wings to the side. Yeah. Yeah, it's gorgeous. You guys are, you guys, you guys know everything. No, we're just gearheads, dude. We're just into this, <laughs> I man. mean, like, look. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. That's yeah. funny. Okay, volume knob. <laughs> and this is the pickup selection? Yeah, I believe that's pickup. I'll just leave it in the... Nah, let's do the front one. Yeah, there you go. Do it. Terrible. <laughs> there we yeah, go. That's, yeah. the one. that's the one. <laughs> okay, so it's like reverse. Uh, okay. Okay, I want to hear some high stuff. Let's see. I definitely should have tuned it first. <laughs> well, that... Even like nice to tune. <laughs> I like, know, it feels so good. They got the ergonomic, like on the tuning ergonomic tuners yeah. too, so you're not like out here tuning and it's like oh, your wrist is straight. That's great. Okay, Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Oh, I want to hear some tense up here. something awful on this? That all sounds good. Whew. Okay, that's me done. <laughs> we, got, we got a guy here. <laughs> I know a couple tricks. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. Yeah, uh, it's nice. It's like, they don't make too many 20, like for a 26 fret 24, bass? 24, 25, 26 yeah. frets. 26 fret bass. 26. That explains the weight. That explains the tiny body also. Yeah, that's so nice. That yeah. is really cool. I had no idea that was 26 frets. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah, you don't even notice it. It just keeps, just keeps going. Yeah. So this is a streamer body shape? Is that what this was? This is the thumb. Oh, this is the thumb. Excuse yeah. me. Yeah, okay. Streamer's, streamer's a little longer body. A little with longer. Less, less, right. uh, frets. Okay. Can I try this top, top note? You can do whatever you want, dude. Damn. It's like a, like a C string. Yeah, very, really. very piano like in tone, as they oh. would say. <laughs> very bell like. Yeah, they say piano and bell are the two Warwick words. Alright, you tell me that, I believe you. It's out, it's out of the scripture, man. It's out of the scripture. <laughs> uh, all neck with tone, or all bridge with tone wide open. So the third tone close. Sound that's come out of that thing yeah. of the three that's of us. That was I don't know. Incredible. I started screwing with seven, like, oh, that maybe some of this. A little, a little salt, a little pepper, a little paprika, right. good enough. When you're doing uh, the, the, the thumb 
Uh, Paul oh, Muger. the, the, yeah. the Paul that, like, reminded me of like uh, when I saw Victor Wooten one time. Like that's like that's like the sound from uh, when he played with Bella Fleck, like oh. in the beginning of some of those songs. <laughs> Damn. Well, that is that is the, <laughs> that is the <laughs> kindest comparison I've ever heard. But yeah, it is a phenomenal sounding yeah, instrument. That is incredible. for sure. That is for sure. Cool. So we're muted. So next yeah, let's go ahead and go on to the next one. See what else we got? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think the E is is next. Yeah, and then the that one, and then the priceless. <laughs> so that guy? Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, this is the whale back. I think, uh, I think we should keep the same rotation though. Okay, uh, cool. It's working. It's working out all right. No problem. What is a whale back? Is that when it's cut out like that? Is no, it it's not cut. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I think it's. I think that's what it's oh, called. Oh, really? You that's guys good. are the, are I the know champions. That, that, that Nick's the know. one who really likes this design. So. See, I actually. I like single cut. Uh, you call it single cut. Yeah, it'd be a single okay. cut with like the, the extended hump, I guess, or extended horn. Whale yeah. back makes sense. Yeah, yeah that, it that does. That makes, makes more sense. sense. I, I got this custom base because the guy was supposed to make a whale back and mm -hmm. he fucked up on it and he cut it by accident. I was like, that's great. I don't even like whale backs. And so I got it for like a discount. <laughs> that's cool. Like, oh, oh, wow. That's Yay. really cool. <laughs> that's really cool. All right. I don't know much about this. You check the still? tuning. You know, you check the, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tuning. Let me, I don't want people to hear it. <laughs> I guess I don't care. I right? like how he mutes to tune yeah. knowing we're going to cut you it. Come on, guy. <laughs> guy. Yeah, you want it? You want so bad? What do you think? Is that low B? I think that low B is a little out. Everything. Opal inlay. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. I'm not very good at tuning low Bs because I don't use them. Start with a G. Yeah. <laughs> So this is an Elric. <laughs> this is incredible. Um, yeah, so th this is an Elric. I've only had a the opportunity to play uh, a couple of their, I think they call it the Expat series, which is the ones that are made overseas. Um, you know, in Dominican, I don't know. Not in one of the, yeah, one of their region. home regions. So. Want me to but up this I've, I've played a couple of the Expats. This one literally caught yes. my eye because I saw it and I was like, that's so pretty. I got to have it. I don't care what the, the number is. I, we need to add this one to the collection. So I just knowing they're higher instruments, but... These um, inlays are nuts. Those inlays are absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. I really like instruments that have that like single cut with the super long horn. I really, really like that. Um, okay, all this. So yeah, Master William, what does it say there on that little tag? Let's, let's hear well, a little bit well, about it. This is an Elric Master Series Evolution. E dash evolution. Oh, like <laughs> the thing on the thing. Yeah. Uh, a single cut, Tons. five string, custom shop electric bass. Not too much else. Doesn't say what kind of wood. At least it doesn't say it in English. I got this. Yeah, yeah. He's our guy. German American knees on. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm worthless. <laughs> Say it in German and then we'll have the magic yeah, translation exactly. right here. It says it's hand worked and then the body is gomesheta. All right. All right. Well, you heard it here first. <laughs> yeah. I'm worthless. Uh, oh, that was man. my turn. Yes. Yeah, it's you. So what's the deal with these? Is this like... So I'm assuming it probably comes with pins. It's it, it's probably strap locks that mm -hmm. go into the instrument, okay. so your strap is going to lay directly on top of it as opposed to like being extended a okay. little bit. They don't even want to give you the option to... Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, we're not going to let you drop this. you got to put locks on it. And hip, hip shot. Wait a second. Hip shot okay. tuners. Hip Aren't shot tuners. Aren't that like uh, can detune? Yeah, they fast? have the hip shot drop tune, but it's not this one, but it's like a more of a... Like a Fender size. Yeah, Hipshot is a company that just makes nicer tuning machines, like aftermarket oh. tuning machines. I have one of their drop tuners on my 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 P base. Oh, that's right. Yeah. My sting, right? And that's right. like my little secret. Will be yeah, yeah, yeah. Back up. <laughs> that is so cool. I saw, I saw uh, Ring. God damn it, Michael Mann Ring. Michael Mann Ring oh, has yeah. like four. Yeah, like, and I was like, do you got like <laughs> he's got one on each one, and then down here he's got even more. Oh, it's I forgot like, he has more in the back too. Bro. Yeah, that dude's nuts. Yeah, it's insane. That's he so uses cool. them well. He really does. All right, so uh, what, what is this thing set at? I guess, does it use so, uh, active passive? That, I'm, 
There's two of them, so maybe active, there. passive, and then. Or maybe this is like certain <laughs> kilohertz frequency. Oh, that could be thing. too. That could be too. That happens a lot. With maybe switching. one's active, passive, and one's a frequency switch. Right, I'm just gonna. Switch. Do you want? Do you want to play with them, and I'll just keep playing? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. Oh, I guess the volume should be on. <laughs> yeah, it's the first one. <laughs> So I think this one is an active passive. Okay. I'm pretty certain that's an active passive. Mm -hmm. This has got to be like a three band. This might be a pan plot. This has got to be master volume. This one I think is the the frequency thing because I heard some stuff going on in the mid range uh -huh. when you were when you were playing. I heard some stuff going on in the mid range, but not positive. Cool. Don't have the paperwork in front of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. But it sounds great. Yeah. But there was one one setting you had. I wasn't watching what you were doing, but it was like. Yeah, yeah, that's, the one. Like, yeah oh. that's the one. That's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> this one feels like it has a little bit lower output than the past few. Yeah, I can see that. But that must be something with the active passive. Like even the even the passive fender, I feel like was louder than that right yeah, out the gate, which weird. is kind of weird, but Which is that? The, the middle one. No. That's the fun switch. That's the one. <laughs> That's the good switch. Sandwich at that point, just like leave it be. <laughs> cool. Yeah, oh, nice this though. this is this is awesome. This is awesome. This feels the really backside. this weight. Okay, and this I, I gotta get a shot of this. The way they have so that the thumb way that it's carved. Yeah, there's a good angle right there. The way that's carved right here. So when you're going up here, I know I was like like rocking in first position the whole time, but if I were to go up here to try to take a solo section, I have I don't have to fight this horn because like I play a lot of less Pauls and like it hits right here, and then you gotta kind of do this thing. But with the way it's contoured, or contoured, however the hell you pronounce it, <laughs> it uh, it just sits really, really comfortably. Yeah, yeah. So, and and I, I know they do this extended horn here for the for the weight. Sorry. <laughs> oh, good lord! No, you good. You good. Good you're lord! Good. I'm no, worrying no. about the bass more than my head. <laughs> my face will heal. Uh, um, so yeah, for for an instrument that has like, you know, five string or whatever with you know good long range, sometimes they'll um, they'll put this extra horn here so that when you wear it when you're strapped, it just kind of sits oh, nice and comfortable. Nice. It's part of the point, but it feels Smart. real good. I dig. So, let's uh, let's move on. I think we got Shall another we? one with a horn. So let's do the next one. Yeah, we do. All right. Let me get this one real quick. Yeah. Um, leave this behind us. That would be a little crazy. Oh, sweet. 
hope B.B. King from, can forgive me for butchering Thrill's Gone. <laughs> <laughs> he just rolled over in his grave, dude. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Jewel encrusted grave. Oh my god, right? <laughs> Honestly. That's so funny. Okay, so this is crazy. Can we talk pickups? Because these pickups like kind of have the same double double thing. Yeah, yeah. So deal definitely both going to be I'm humbuckers. Thinking, yeah, definitely both humbuckers. So I think the deal way. happening here is that instead of... So we did a video earlier with a Stingray and Old Smoothie, and what mm -hmm. they did is for the pickups, instead of a four string with a pole underneath each string, they did like... I don't know if it's a five string per se, Nick was saying, but they did four pole or five pole pieces for four strings. So each string lands between the pole pieces. So it gives like a little bit warmer, not as bitey tone. Yeah. So I think that's what's going on with these humbuckers too. So like there's just two pull pieces for each string instead of one right underneath it. Because okay. if the string is sitting right on top of that that magnet, it's gonna be super brittle and yeah. super bright. But if you offset them a little bit, have them right in the middle, kind of rolls off a little bit of that glassiness. Dude, you gotta yeah. do your shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, you play them better. How about that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which at the end of the day, I mean, <laughs> it's more important, you know. <laughs> We've entered that scale. Oh now. my god. <laughs> I was gonna say, let's like mute it, mute it real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are officially onto the big F word in yeah. the bass world. The butterfly that you all know and love, Fodera. Um, and I have to admit, some of you guys are laughing. This is the first time I've ever like actually had hands on a Fodera. No, you know? Me too. I me see too. them and I love them from See, afar. I I actually went to the Fodera workshop where they make it in Brooklyn. Because oh, I was like, this is it. I want to get a new bass. Like I'm gonna go to the workshop, must be cheaper to get out of the workshop. Mm -hmm. It was not. Uh, uh, they actually don't have them for sale. Like the, I bet they have more Foderas here than they had at the workshop. I think wow. they had like two there. Uh, because they make everything custom. And they were like, uh -huh. okay, yeah, you can order one and in six months it'll come. And I was like, no, I want this now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. For this. And so I, I didn't end up getting one in the end, but uh, I wanted one so bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this was the first one I saw in person and then now the first one I've ever actually <laughs> physically touched as well. I've only ever seen videos and stuff, but you guys heard it. Like, and the responsiveness with that? Oh my God. Oh my God. Just, just go. Yeah, I'm going to go just for go, it. Just go, dude. Up an instrument and then you just become a vessel. You are no longer you playing. Like you are the universe. It playing did not happen by me. It yeah, happened yeah. through me. I feel me. like this is one. Of, this has the potential to do that. And I feel like this is only a fretboard. It's so easy to get to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I feel like there's no body attached. There's wow. like the cut back here is just like on the other one. It's incredible how comfortable this is to get right here. Even with your first finger, yeah. extremely comfortable. So that's. I'm just gonna, so I'm gonna bet. I'm just gonna let you guys do. I'm this. gonna bet that's a burl top. Some kind of burl top. I can oh, almost yeah, we can guarantee that's going to be an ebony fingerboard, too. I can, I can pretty much guarantee that's an ebony fingerboard. Uh, we got Federa Imperial Elite 5 Select Box Elder Burl. Electric bass, five string, semi hollow. See, look, you read German. What? You, you, yeah. you read German. You well, you, you told me that means string. Yeah, you're good, man. You got okay. your German up now. Thank you. <laughs> and then what's the last one? You're asking me? Newsbound Corpus with air tone block. Newsbound. What the hell is a newsbound? So I don't know, but tone block. You said it's it's <laughs> semi hollow. Yeah, semi hollow. I mean, that explains why they're so light. So it's chambered. It's got to be chambered at least some degree. Oh yeah. Yeah, up here. Can't you guys hear it, YouTube? Sorry. <laughs> it probably can. Look at uh, that mic, sweet. dude. You definitely not bite. Oh, that's oh, where that's, it is. That's where well, it that's is. A, that's the, the <laughs> cavity. Though. It's semi hollow for the electronics. <laughs> that works. Wait. So okay. Yeah. And there's even more of these switches now. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> they just keep coming. There's yeah. more and more. All right, let's do it. Any... Oh, oh god damn it. I didn't even I play with something. anything. I, I didn't something. play with anything. I turned both of those all the way up. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. And I'm pretty sure that might be a pickup selector underneath. If, is there, if there's an indent, it's I'll probably a pickup selector. Whoa! Did not see that coming. It's crazy. I like that. I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just super hot. It's cool. Okay. Thank you. 
incredible. That was so tough. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, I was <laughs> oh, in like I was in my own world listening to that, dude. That took me elsewhere. Oh god, I want one. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and I'm really surprised there's like not much contouring on the front of it, which is kind of a trip to me. I wonder if any of these are piezo pickups. I mean, they look like they could contain something like that. Oh. I don't know. That kind of sounds like there's something going on. Oh, you can play the back. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely an upright thing that I used to own. <laughs> oh, let's... Okay, cool. Come come to daddy. <laughs> come to daddy. Come home. So mean. It's like dank. It's the only dank. way to describe this. The... It's clipping. Oh. It's, it's, going, it's, going, it's going so hot. This is hip. This is too cool for me. It's but it's like it's like clipping, but it's not louder. Like right. it just like distorts. I think it's I think it's just it's pushing the preamp really, yeah, really maybe. hard. Mm. Maybe it's a um, switches between nine and eighteen volts. It gives you more headroom with the eighteen. Let's punch it up. You know okay. What I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's. Just yeah, man. Let's see what we're about to do that, as I say, right? <laughs> What's the verdict for you? Uh, it's a, yeah, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. I would yeah. say for the first Fidera I've ever played that, that blows everything else out of the water completely. So, Well, all right, well, shall we, we set that down? Up? Yeah, then we got and our last we one. Penny upon time, so it's... We got yeah, we got 148, time. we got just enough time. Um, this one over there, right? It's the, yeah, and I tell you what, I want you to introduce this one. Yeah, I'll give it a go. I want, uh, I want you to introduce this one, man. So, you know, I... I I used to work full time at uh, at Toma and walk by, see faces like this. So I don't know if you get a close up shot. There's a signature on the back. Uh, have not been able to figure out whose signature this is. Can you get a close up on that? Uh, I think it says Ying. Yeah. Uh, I get a capital D. Yeah. What's it smell like? <laughs> it smells pretty funky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this uh, it's definitely definitely has some. Roadwear on it. The guy downstairs is like, make sure there's no scratches on it when you bring it back. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there's one when we took it to this point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have a sneaky suspicion I know whose base this is. Yeah. Maybe. I have a sneaky suspicion. I mean, the internet will definitely tell us. Uh, yeah. Who do you think yeah. it is? Uh, maybe Jack of Pistorius. You, you think, think so? Maybe Jack of Pistorius. Maybe. Uh, so? Maybe Ray Brown. Charles Mingus. Charles Mingus played a PJ Federa, didn't he? Do, do Do any of these people have like like a Alter, alter, what is the name? Not alter ego, but like, you know when people use like a, a pseudonym. Like Jim Morrison, yeah, like Mr. Mojo Ryzen type of thing, <laughs> you know? Ah. Maybe that's like their pseudonym. I have a sneaky suspicion that this is Victor Wooten's face. I'm Do you pretty, know? pretty damn sure positive. Um, well, considering well, what I'm looking at, I could see that being completely true. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All so, right, you give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> This one literally is, like, it didn't have a price tag. It just didn't, like, out of all the bases, we're like, oh, how much is this? Really expensive. We'll put it on the on the bill, you know? Yeah. Next one is this. Stupid expensive. Definitely coming with us. This one was hidden. It was, like, on display, but it was, like, not easily accessed, and it did not have a price tag on it. So with the signature, with the roadware, what have you, I have my suspicions, man. I have my I mean, suspicions. I think Mr. Toman, the guy who owns the shop, uh, really likes Fodera. Like, I think yeah. that's why there's so many Foderas here. He admires the base. <laughs> it says Ying. And Victor Wooten's signature is the yin yang. Yes, it is. Yin yang. Yeah. Yin yang. To be fair, it's not ying, so maybe not. Well, I just realized there's no G at the end of yin. <laughs> anyway, let's hear it, huh? Oh, this is exciting.
nice little, what's it called? A volute? Volute. volute? Yeah. yeah. I like that a lot. How the fuck do you guys know the name? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Because I've owned Les Pauls. That's yeah. how I know this. Yeah, that I'm not exactly. to break the headstock off. Exactly. Volute. How do you, volute. Spell, the, how do you spell that? I think it's uh, V-O-L-U-T-E. Uh, yeah, it's volute. Like, all right, tell me. Versace. F O Versace. Yeah, this is another easy access. I mean, obviously, it's a Federa. They know what they're doing. You can see the cut on the back is similar. Obviously, it's not the whole way the whale back that you called it. Yeah. But you still got that nice cutaway for thumb access, which is awesome. Um, this one. Oh, no specs. No specs. There's no tag. That's yeah. right. Mm. So this one, is this a bolt on? I mean, there's a piece of wood here. But um, it's, it's, it looks it's like maybe a, a set oh, neck. Oh, it's a through. Or yeah, it's a neck through. Ah, it's kind of a trip, because look at this. It looks like like the, the board is like set, but the back of the neck is like, I don't know. Take a look, take a look. It's weird. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, I think what's happening is that the fingerboard is probably inlet, like laid over the body. Because it's laid body. into the body, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that that's pretty cool. That's how Taylor does their acoustics. Their neck is actually separate, and then they lay it on top of the body. So I think that's what happened when they when they built it. They okay. probably laid, it's, it's, it's gotta be a set neck with the fingerboard laid on top of the body. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, it's just this like, I don't know if you see this, uh, no, it's definitely too far away. <laughs> <laughs> but like, there's just like this little spot where I'm like, yeah, oh, it could be a screw there, but I doubt it. Yeah, okay, and then three more switches. The, the knobs oh, are, yeah, I, I don't know why it. they're so unified. So they're the EMG, unit. PJ. Yep. So it's got to be volume, maybe tone, volume, tone, pan pot. I don't know. See, this that looks, wouldn't make any sense if it's This looks like volume. this one fell off and they replaced it. Like, because this is totally different from the other two. I don't know why they But I think that. on the other Federa, it had like three of knobs like that, I believe, right? Or yeah. Is that over here, yeah, see the... You're right, you're right. Oh, there's some really pretty quilting going on right here, too. I just saw oh, yeah, a caught in the light. Gorgeous. some super pretty quilting. Right there, right there. Yeah. That's how you call those stretch marks. Quilting. Stretch marks. <laughs> quilting sounds funny. so much better. That's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I am quilted. Now I'm going to call stretch my marks. stretch marks quilting. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> Me too. <laughs> this is so funny. Um, okay, so what do you think these switches do then? So I guess there's three. No, there's three. Mm. Uh, I just have to try it. Let's play it. Let's just play yeah. it. Active passive is a given, probably. Yes, Anything so. other than that. Let's try it. I like that was before. Warm. It's warm. Now it's off. <laughs> That's a kill switch. That's cool. That's good. Why you would you do something? Oh, you can do bucket head. Interesting. That was actually when I went to the Fodera place. Uh, they like watched me play. I'm like, oh, you're a heavy hitter. And I was like, I, I, nobody's so. ever said that to me before, <laughs> yeah. but that must be it. Yeah. So like they were gonna like, you know, because they were gonna fit me for a bass. And mm -hmm. then you have to get a bass with a higher action or something. Yeah. Probably because I play upright and then I just destroy these things. Yeah, because <laughs> upright attack is much much different yeah, yeah, yeah. than an electric attack. But I like for sure. I like that slap sound when you like mm -hmm. really dig in. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, I'm gonna noodle on this thing for just a sec. But once again, I'm Nick with the Bass Channel. We are here at Toman in Germany. Thank you guys so much. Once again, gentlemen, introduce yourselves. Russell Show the from love. Toman. Will from the Bass Channel. Nick from the Bass Channel. Thank you so much, guys. Did I try to do something fun? <laughs> yeah, I did. I even you guys did a bunch of fun stuff. <laughs> I didn't think about doing a Victor Wooten thing. I don't sense. know any Victor Wooten things, but you guys are playing all I just cool. Mean like <laughs> Sounds like a Victor Wood base, yeah. Yeah, it does. 
This thing is nuts. I'm gonna right. laugh. I'm gonna laugh when this isn't a Victor Wooten bass. Yeah. We'll, we'll be back. TGU uh, 2020 to play this thing all over again. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank Cheers. You. See you Take next care. time.